standoff in Baltimore County, live streamed on Instagram. Do whatever y'all going to do. Y'all going to die. Listen, no, I'm not going to open the door. And if you come and try to use force at the door, I'm going to shoot. Police say the man behind the camera, 31-year-old Antonio Hart. Get me a hostage negotiator here now. But that was just the start of what was to come. Yeah, I'm dying today. I can't take it no more. Hart confessing to several homicides, including the unsolved homicide of 18-year-old Tyran Deshaun Smoot. Yeah, Tyran, I killed him too, 2011. And the murder of 16-year-old Daquan Burks, Sterling Matthews, 17 at the time, now serving a 115-year sentence in that case. I had that Glock, that Glock 17, and that 25 caliber that night that killed Daquan. I did that in 2010, Halloween, pin raising mask. Boy, Sterling ain't do that I love you, woo baby, but he ain't do that Big Rambo did that. Yeah, no. I gotta hit my academics for chat. Chat. What the fuck did we just watch? Yo, chat. This nigga just did. This nigga tell on himself in 4K. You talk about murders way from back then. Holy shit. Free Sterling. That's what I want to say. Y'all get in comments, let me know y'all thoughts first and foremost before I get in the video, cuz. When you go and look up the names and the, the situations, Sterling got hit with 115 fucking years. And he didn't tell or snitch or none of that shit. Holy shit. Check, what y'all think? So, give y'all context. Baltimore man went live. <clears throat> he went live and wanted to... I'm a spiritual person, man. I feel like the guy was fighting demons, man. I no longer can hold these demons back, man. If you just feel like I'm crazy, okay, cool. I'll be crazy. But, bro, he was fighting them demons, man. Demons get tired. So, bro crashed out. Bro crashed out. Give y'all context. Baltimore, man, he had a standoff with the, police, with the police before he was killed. However, I'm not saying the police killed him. He did. Obviously, y'all seen the video. He showed, I guess, a stab wound. And he had a lot to get off his chest. Uh, it was a, this, a, a woman that was stabbed in the process. I'm guessing his girlfriend. I'm guessing the lady, he, the young lady he was with, whatever the case may be, where the child was involved as well that was in the house. But, man, to me, he was crashing out, you know what I'm saying? And he did some things he couldn't agree with, and I guess it was over. The article read, yeah, but basically what I just told you guys, now, he was getting some things off his chest, stating that he killed this person, he killed that person, he gave details, he gave dates, he gave the way the body filled, where he got the mask from. Very detailed. So, me watching that video, I don't think he was lying about some of the shit he was talking about. But now I do want to say and give him respect on this one, even though it's still not respectable. So I don't condone and really advocate for no violence. But he did say he don't want somebody to stay behind bars for some shit that he did, I'm guessing which was his friends, and he was standing on morals and principles before he went up out of this and left this earth. Fuck, Sterling got hit with 115 years. That mean he would have died in jail, came back to life, died again in jail, got resurrected again and died again in jail and probably still would be in jail if he died again and came back for something he didn't do. Me watching that video, man, this guy was battling something, man. Free Sterling. Now, Sterling family did come out and say they knew their, their brother, cousin, sister, I mean, their brother, cousin, 
nephew's son has been innocent all along. They put a GoFundMe out. They put a petition out. They trying to get Sterling home free. They need money for lawyers. They need money to reopen the case and bring it back. And this is concrete evidence for them to use. And we see stories like, not like this, but we hear about stories about a guy like Sterling all the time, people being, people being wrongfully convicted. But it's got to add dates, names. It's a possibility Sterling could probably fight this and beat it. However, there's no one allowed to fully, you know, take responsibility and be convicted for the crimes that was committed. So it's kind of a bad deal in the same breath. But you know me, I don't want anybody to stay in jail. It doesn't belong. Look, free Sterling. Now, I reported on this early on. Shout out to the bloggers I got it from and, and people who hit me up trying to get in contact with, you know, him and the people to even see if he was still alive. Because I was following the story, but I'm not from Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? But, well, there you have it. My take on it, these people who kill people, they fight demons. They got to deal with the crimes and the things they've committed. Terrible way to live. Terrible way to live. So the way I look at it, man, this man had to get it off his chest. He could no longer hold him back. He could no longer bear these demons within him. Y'all niggas be fighting. These niggas be fighting demons, man. They do a lot of pills. They do a lot of drugs. They do a lot of other shit. Because they really be fighting demons. And don't talk about it to nobody. I don't want to go too deep down the topic because y'all gonna say I'm crazy, but I'm just a messenger, man. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Before you do some shit you know you ain't gonna be forgiven for, God may forgive you. Because God forgives all. I believe. But you kind of got to forgive yourself as well and repent for the sins you committed. So you young niggas, y'all can really learn from this story, man. If that ain't something, you know, we hear about I'm on demon time, I'm this, I'm that. We young niggas better really be on demon time and really be demons. Y'all let me know in the comments. Do y'all think niggas be really fighting spiritual warfare and demons? And they don't be lying when they saying that shit? Some be pretending, I'm pretty sure, but... Some ain't pretending. This man told murders he committed way 10 years ago. Today, I can't take it no more. Hart, confessing to several homicides including the unsolved homicide of 18-year-old Tyran Deshaun Smoot. Yeah, Tyran, I killed him too, 2011. And the murder of 16-year-old Daquan Burks, Sterling Matthews, 17 at the time, now serving a 115-year sentence in that case. I had that Glock, that Glock 17, and that 25 caliber that night that killed Daquan. I did that in 2010, Halloween, pen raising mask. Boy, Sterling ain't do that. I love you, woo baby, but he ain't do that. Big Rambo did that. Holy shit. With dates, names, mask, appearance, details. He said he was doing it for the hood. Is that snitching too though? Y'all is that snitching? Like did he do a righteous thing by telling how how he did I don't know. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. <laughs>